We've done all that's necessary. We set the Erd Tree alight and claimed the power to slay a god for Malekith. Now there's only one thing left to do. I will claim my throne. Landell Ashen Capital. <laughs> yep. Honestly, the whole entire game, I assume not the DLC, but the whole game now is, uh, on the surface at least, is flooded with these sparks of embers floating in the air. And the weather gets a bit hazier now that you kill Malekith. You know, I have to wonder. Hold on. Before we go anywhere, um, I want to check something. Let's see. That's a good view. Let's head into the DLC real quick. I wonder if something has happened to the Shadow Tree. No, no, it's the same as always. I know it's the, it's the literal shadow of the Erd Tree, but it seems that nothing's different about it. I guess this is taking one last look at this place before we finish the game, huh? I'll miss it. I'll miss it. Uh, let's head into the round table. There's some new stuff here. Yep, it's all. It's on fire after all. The round table hold is actually a duplicate projection of a real building in Lane Dell. So this is on fire too. Not good. Anyhow, let's start out by reading the soul. Remembrance. Malaketh the Black Blade, hewn into the Erd Tree. Malaketh was a shadow-bound beast given to his Empyrean. America's sole need of her shadow was a vessel to lock away destined death. Even then, she betrayed him. <laughs> America's such a butt. Ah, <sighs> so... We have Blythe, the guardian for Ronnie, and Malekith, the guardian for, um, Merica. That's two of four Empyrean shadows accounted for. We never saw hide nor hair of the shadows for Millennia and Mikola. That's kind of a lost opportunity, you know? How you doing? Oh, she's dead! Wow, I forgot about that. What? Okay. Uh. Black Blade Incantation. Power gleaned from the remembrance of Malekith. Caster creates an illusory black blade, then leaps forward to deliver a spinning slash that emits a wave of light. This can be followed up with one additional attack. This blade was once imbued with dust and death. In addition to dealing damage, it reduces foes' maximum HP and continues to sap their current HP for a very short time. I believe that is percentage-based, so if you use the summon black knife... Black knife... What was, what, was, what was the name? Hold on. Tish? I think it's Tish. Yeah, Black Knife Tish. Um, she also shoots projectiles that deal percentage damage. Yeah, I think I remember um, using her and this miracle on my first playthrough back to back to uh, really just cheese the last few bosses, I think. Um, there's also. Malekith's black blade, which once harbored the power of the Rune of Death, a sad shadow of its former glory. After a fragment of death was stolen on that faithful, fateful night, Malekith bound the blade within its own flesh, such that none might ever rob death again. 
set free the remnants of dust and death, plunging the greatsword into the ground to summon a myriad of blades. In addition to dealing immediate damage, this attack reduces the enemy's max HP and continues to wear down HP for a short time. Strength and Faith. Yeah, I must have duplicated the weapon and the black blade, because I remember using both for a while. I'll take the magic, though. And equipment! Hello! Beast's helm made of black iron and decorated with gold, worn by Malaketh the Black Blade. Malaketh, Queen Merica's royal loyal half-brother, bore a blade imbued with destined death, and there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew what was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. So you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of... The design, it reminds me of ebony armor in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Specifically that game's interpretation of ebony armor. Though this one looks way cooler. So I actually wonder, would it look pretty good on me? I'm pretty attached to my, uh, my knight's cavalry armor, but you never know. Ooh. Ooh, you see the way the sheath, like the gold part of the sheath matches up with the gold? Ooh. Hello. Dude, and the gold matches my circlet? And I can wear it without fat rolling? Uh. Okay, it's a bit worse on defenses by a tiny bit, but... It's pretty negligible. And I think I can alter it to remove the back sash, maybe? Let's see. Alter, yes! Okay, that's less defenses, but it looks cooler. Yo. Okay, the, the back, the back is a little bulbous for my liking, but I think I'll- I think I'll use this. I like it. Let's catch up with some NPCs. I see. You're here for some spirit tuning. No. How about the blacksmith? Who are you? Oh. I must be a blacksmith. <laughs> no. Let's get smithing. Love you, Hugh. About yourself. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? In ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? Mm, no? Let's go with no. D did I...? Oh, there might be one, one thing I want to check on before we go to the Ashen Capital. I forget if... Yeah, I think you can only finish... Um... Nefeli's quest line after you kill Malekith, maybe? Ah. Gideon's gone. Fair enough. You're still unmoving. Yeah, alright, I guess that's it for the round table. Alright, alright. Let's yeah, let's check out Stormvale. Hold on. Hello, Nefeli. Now, is this new? Did I... Did I miss this? Or did it just now happen? It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. <gasps> no, this I is new! I I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm. 
to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Yes, ancient dragon smithing stone, that is a good find. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Hmm. No, things are about to become a lot worse under me, unfortunately. Farewell, fellow warrior. I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I'm gonna kill your father, by the way. Hope, hope you don't mind. Ah, nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just. Worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill my old promise. By raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. There is no need for knights in my world. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards. At which time I can fulfill by raising you, I hope it. Fair enough. And you, Gostock, right? Ah, you, is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. Still, I have the lady's trust. So I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Oh yeah. Do you have anything new? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow. It's worth it to keep this guy alive. What the hell? All right. Yeah. I the Kestis. Hey, the buckler. Why not? And some feathers. No reason not to. Just clean them out. Well, farewell, good people. You'll regret not killing me now. So here we are. The Ashen Capital. Boy, I don't... I only remember, like... One thing about exploring here, but... Gosh, I can't imagine there's too much that's new, huh? I really can't summon Torrent? Oh, okay. Uh... I guess we'll wing it. I know where I need to go ultimately, but... There's probably items here and there. Oh, hello. Behold, the Erd Tree yet stands. Tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. Ha <laughs> ha, ha ha. Then we are yet golden ones. Keep telling yourself that. Ah, here. So let me tell you, this is a trip down into the sewers where I can get an item, and this thing drove me friggin' nuts on my first playthrough. I spent what must have been like two hours just trying to find a way up to this beam. But nope, this is the first and only opportunity to get this item. Right here. Ugh. 
Yeah, Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. I remembered what it was, even. But I found, um... I found the plus three in the DLC, so useless. At least I have it. That reminds me, I need to look out for one talisman up in the Ashen Capital. That will get me my achievement for getting all the legendary talismans. But I forget where it is. Uh-oh. I, uh... So we want to generally head that Way? Uh... Did the wing move? Can I not jump up that wing anymore? Huh. Oh! Oh, I can! It's just so buried in the ash, I didn't recognize the... Well, geography of the place. Uh, geometry, sorry. I may have missed some items, but I can always go back and check. Let's at least head to the next grace. I hear something large. Why do I hear something large? Oh, one of those. Blech. Maybe there were items here, but I got most of them. It's... Maybe it hasn't really repopulated with items so much as it has just, like, copy-pasted copy my loot history. I can still get up to the arena. That's nice. Oh. Oh, I reckon that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. That's... Uh, ah. <gasps> you! Where's a gold mask, buddy? You're Corin, I think? I need, to go, I need to go talk to him. Crap. Oh, there's a new item. What? All right. Legendary. A somber ancient stone. Neat. Oh, you see me? Alright, let's do this. Oh, I hate these things. Uh, the twin blade movesets worse, so stay with the axe for a bit, would ya? Ow. Oh. Yeah. All right, that was too bad. Yeah, you're all physical, aren't you? I'm good at resisting that. Magic less so. <sighs> Be nice if you could stagger! Yes! Alright. Don't go for their post, just mash. Not sure if that was too much better of an idea. One more hit. Good riddance. Oh. No items. Ha <laughs> Screw you too, game. <laughs> well. Here at the end of all things, what else could there be to reward, even? Speaking of end of all things, yeah, the... When I first got here, I was definitely struck by the similarity to the End of the Ring City DLC for Dark Souls 3. Though that was a much more poetic and, um... Intense experience, I would say. 
God, it's pretty wild that Dark Souls 3 in the base game had, like, the most perfect ending for the trilogy ever. And then its final expansion delivered another ending to the trilogy, and it was just as good, but in different ways. God, Dark Souls 3 is good. I hate that magic is useless in the base game, but Dark Souls 3 is good. Ah, so I need to get down there. I can make this fall. Surely. Help. Okay. Dude, where the hell is... Where's Gold Mask? Oh. It's you. I finally come to understand. The Master was nothing more than a madman. Enchanted by a vain and ruinous delusion, he rejected the perfection of the Golden Order, seeking to supplant our glorious faith with his own. <laughs> Could there be a more pitiable comedy? Look at it. The culmination of perfection. Burning before our very eyes. <laughs> Did you kill him? Oh, it's you. I finally come to understand. The master is nothing more than Chan seeking to supplant. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, I'll get back to you, buddy. Um. Yeah, so Gold Mask. Quite the intelligent fellow. Willing to critique the state religion, I suppose you would call it. And when he discovered that Merica and Radagon were one and the same being, he kind of came to the realization that... Uh, yeah, no. There's some problems going on here. There's some... innate issues with the Golden Order. Let me put my own spin on things, and... Indeed, if you help Gold Mask out, you can even, uh, get a new ending from him, which pretty much, like, reinforces the Golden Order, but better. It's one of the better endings in terms of where the land is left, you know? Still, though, I, I, I personally think that Ronnie's ending might be the best overall, because she's all about just completely cutting off the land from any influence from Outer Gods, and boy, do the Outer Gods mess things up. I think there's something about stifling emotion in there. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I did Ronnie's questline. Well, I had a really thorough look around. I didn't find the talisman, which is frightening, but who knows, maybe it'll turn up a bit later. Up ahead, hopefully. Hopefully. And here we go. To one fateful encounter. Maybe I should rune up. That feels right. I'm just gonna lower that elevator in case I die. Yeah. Here we go. Well, 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 look who turned up. I wonder how long he was holding that cool pose. I wonder if his arm's sore. state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. 
Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle. On to eternity. And so it begins. I love this fight. He uses so many different magic techniques. It really sells that he's uh, done a lot of research in his years. He even has Moog stuff. Oh my god, really? You've done your research, my good man. Got how fast those could come out. Ah. Uh oh, this could be bad. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Did he just use Law of Regression? Of course, he has an Estus as well. Dang, got away from me. Whew. It's hard to find a moment to attack. Uh, the skull's annoying, but this seems a safe strategy. I think I know what that gold circle is. It, I think it might save him from death. Oh no, it's retribution! Ah, fellow. You fought well until now. So, instead of dodge rolling, I tried to sprint away because I knew that was my best bet against that spell. But, I didn't sprint as soon as I thought I would, therefore I died. Ah, cripes. <laughs> I'll get him next time, he's easy peasy. Wait, if he's easy peasy, why did... Why did I die to him? Oh no, could he be... Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult? Oh no. No. Oh, bled him. Clever. Using that as a force field to heal. Good technique. Good technique. I'll give you credit. already killed a god. <laughs> this becomes really funny if you've already done the DLC. Scepter, all-knowing helm, armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Good riddance, Gideon. You git. Oh. Scepter of the all-knowing. Scepter in the form of a hand grasping a pearl. Signature weapon of Sir Gideon Ofnir, the all-knowing. The pearl stands for all uh, for the world. The heavens and an eye, representing the many form of the knowledge of forms of knowledge never fully attainable. Even knowing that, the all-knowing's hand grasps for it. Hmm. Knowledge begins with a recognition of one's ignorance, the realization that the search for knowledge is unending. 
but when Gideon glimpsed into the will of Queen Merica, he shuddered in fear. At the end, that should not be. Huh. Forgot about the eye motifs. It's cool. It's almost like the fire god motif with the eye. Interesting. So what, what is my physic again? Oh yeah, that that's pretty good. I wanna I'll stick with that, I think. So coming up on the end of the road here. Wow. But unfortunately I have yet to find the talisman I'm looking for, which is frightening to me. Did I miss it somewhere in the Ashen Capital? No, surely not. Okay, well, I'll go up to the boss fog, I suppose, and if I haven't found it yet, then... I'll have to look up a more precise location for it. Huh. Ah, there it is. Hello. No? What? Erdtree heal. One of the ancient Erdtree incantations heals a vast amount of HP for the caster nearby allies. The Erdtree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Hold on. Wait. Cripes, I did miss it. All right, well, I'll be I'll be right back. What the hell? Ah, well, there's Corin dead. His bell blessing. Corin's robe? That's unique. Oh. Oh, I thought for sure he was just wearing the regular piece of priest armor. Even after exile, Corin refused to recant his prophecies, and for this he was blessed with the guidance of grace. Since then, the cartwheel draped on his neck has served as a reminder that true guidance awaits those with iron wills, those with unwavering faith. I guess he was blindly faithful to the Gordon... G Gordon Order? Gordon? I miss Half-Life. Where's that friggin' talisman? God, I'm looking everywhere. No. No, no, no. Really? Oh, okay. How? Oh. Oh, this place. Yeah. Right, the path to the mountaintops. Oh, okay. I forgot this little area. Okay. Well, that's solved. I can't believe I found it like that. What the hell? Oh, that's devious. Wait, no. Uh, maybe that's not it, but... Oh, I can look. What the hell? Okay. Uh... Oh no, you're you're kidding me. Shit. Fine, I'll take the long way back. God. Well, it took like a decade to get over here. You know, I'm not even sure I've ever even killed that thing before. I didn't... Yeah, I never knew this was here. So this whole time there was one more of these in the game than I thought there were. Oh, If I die, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh. Item. Well. No. Oh. 
All right, big boy. You and me, let's do this. You know, if I can summon, I will. Because screw that thing. It's just me, are you really large? No, that's about the usual size. <gasps> what? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> no! 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 Three? They can damage each other. Okay. I hate this game. I hate it so much. From stop, why would you do this? Yeah, that's right. Kill each other. Kill each other real good. This isn't so bad. It's just a matter of running around like a chicken with your head cut off. <laughs> Die. 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 Oh, for a second I thought I got grabbed. Oh, yeah, kill you, kill them all, kill them, please. <laughs> What's <is> that? <laughs> this is some kind of cruel joke. I hate everything. I'm not dying now, no sir. No way. Fuck you! I hate you! I didn't get a single I Wait. No, 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 no. That's not what I think it is, is it? Okay, no, I thought that was a breakable statue. You need a big boy to break, okay. Um... That... I would say that's the worst thing that From Software has ever put in a video game, but... There is that double shark man well in the Bloodborne DLC, so... Dude! Man, that was awful! I can't believe I've ever said a positive word about Elden Ring. That was awful! <laughs> no, dude! No, why is that? Why? Why? Why would they make that? Why? Didn't they want to make a good video game? Isn't that the goal? Why? 
No. Right. This is it. The end of our road. From this point on, no Stormblade, no summoning. I'm vowing, no matter how much it may hurt, no matter how stuck I may feel, I'm gonna solve this melee only, Great Katana only. Right? Right. I'm going mano y mano with these final bosses. I will put my nose to the grindstone, relearn these fights, and be very satisfied for it. So, oh boy. Let's get this done, shall we? Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. He's so cool. I gotta point out, you're not the first. And I will be the last. Ooh, the stab. Forgot about that. Thanks for the mercy. Wonder if I have time to use a crab. Oh, I did there. God, it looks like he's gonna take another swing, but he never does. That crab didn't go through. Crap. Ooh, okay. Hello. Crab time. Barely. There we go. I have quite a lot of time to punish him. Ooh! No follow up there? Okay. This isn't. The phase one isn't as bad as I remember it being. Huh. Oh, I should jump that. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, I jumped that, I remember. Oh, we powered up. Great. Fantastic. Ha! Ow. Stab. Outranged it barely. Ah, uh, I can't jump at point blank, can I? God, you're a cool fight. Oh man, you're so fun. But no, the fun's just beginning now, isn't it? That will be 
fool. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. <sighs> now I fight just horror loose. It on, old man. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> God, you're so cool. Oh shit, the range. What? Okay. Oh shit. Oh. He's not. Oh my God. Help. Help. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. That did break my opaline. That's good. That did. Uh oh. Uh oh no. Ow. God, he goes insane now, doesn't he? Ah, uh, I'm dead. No, I lived. <laughs> I'm not alive for long. Whew. All right. Holy God. Okay. No, I thought I dodged. Crap. Why are you so cool, though? <laughs> Damn. Okay. No, dude. Please, 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 please. please. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, heal up. Yeah. Oh, wait, it goes again. That's right. All right. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. Damn it! Ah, I thought I had more space! <sighs> well, my plan of uh, stacking up on defense, physical defense, is paying off! Ow. <sighs> Easy does it. Punish. Damn it. I think my defenses have worn off too, because this'll hurt. Okay. Whew, boy. Oh. Damn it. Ah, I couldn't roll. I'm still in the air. Oh, I thought for sure I was dead. <laughs> I was a flip if that hit me. Ow. One more hit? No, two. Two more. They ha! Tarnished. Thy befits a crown.
I am so pleased with myself that I did that first try. Oh, man. I'm covered in blood, just as he was. Damn. Horalu is so cool. America's first husband, father of Morgoth and Moog. And I think Godwin, too? Maybe. No, yeah, he... Yeah, he's a father to all the G's and the M's, I think. Yeah, the R's, like Radon and Renala, were from... Renala, as a mother, I think. Okay. Ah. <sighs> When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace, becoming tarnished, he took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the tarnished came to an end, Godfrey divested himself of kingship, becoming a simple warrior once more. Well, that's one way to rebound after a divorce. Let's go cash that in, shall we? Axe of Godfrey. It was broken in a battle fought as leader of the Tarnished during the Lawn March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord, later becoming an emblem of the Golden Lineage. In the days of the past, a crown was warranted with strength. Unique skill, Regal Roar. Yeah. Ash of War, Hora Lu's Earthshaker. Hora Lu's Earthshaker slam both hands onto the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. Usable on all melee armaments. I'll take it. As for his clothes... The Age of the Erd Tree began a monst conflict when Godfrey was lord of the battlefield. He led the war against the giants faced the Storm Lord alone, and then there came a moment when his last worthy enemy fell, and it was then, as the story is told, that the hue of Lord Godfrey's eyes faded. <laughs> Love it. So, uh, Sorosh, that lion ghost on his back, was essentially a limiter placed on his impulses, his... Barbaric murder rampage impulses. Neat. I forget where you read that lore, or maybe it's just inferred from the cutscene. My god, there's nothing between us and the final boss. I'm gonna buy some things, last moment purchases and upgrades, and yeah, then we'll then we'll do it. Alright, alright, we're here. Wow. Gosh, I forget when I first made this character, but I feel like it was like a full year ago. I made him in preparation once the DLC was announced, so yeah, shortly after Shadow of the Erd Tree was first announced, that's when I first made him. And here, it's only now that I'm finishing his journey. Obviously, there's some cleanup I'd like to do after this series ends, but in terms of Recorded footage? Yeah. This is the end. So, I have heard that in a patch they have made it so that you are able to use Torrent, your, no your noble steed, in the second phase of this final boss, so... I'm very curious to see how that plays out. <sighs> Let's do this.
God, that is the coolest thing in this whole entire game. Ow. Worth it. And maybe I should have equipped some anti-holy? Oh no. Alright, that damage ain't half bad. Okay. Ow. Follow up. Ow, that's fast. He's got a wicked foot. Oh, that was farther than I thought it would be. Ow. This is not going well. Ow, that's full of speed! <laughs> if you can't tell, I completely forget his movesets, so not having a good time here. Okay, stay calm. Maybe roll punishing is the way to go here. It's working out a bit. Uh oh. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Mercy, mercy. Oh, thank you. The explosion. I saw it embedded in the ground. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, you're the real deal, buddy. Ow. Rude. Oh, that's punishable as hell. Wow. That is too. Ooh, all right. Bit of space. There we go. Oh, you can do what? Oh, okay. Hello. Nope. Nope. Too cheeky. Too cheeky. Oh, he's doing cool things. Oh. Oh. All right. Ah, damn it. Uh-oh. Stay calm. Calm! Ow. Not good. Not good. Oh, alright. Two sips left and I've got a whole nother boss to go after this. Nice. Good so far. Uh, I forgot about that one. Damn it. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> no heals left. It's just fine. Delay! It's perfectly timed, man. Okay. Well, I any believers? Any any believers? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna die so bad. <laughs>
All right. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Run! I don't want to risk summoning Torrent just then. I thought I could do it. Okay. Gotta remember, at some level, this is balanced for just doing it on foot. All right. Well, that's the Elden Beast for ya. Uh, so, I do like the Elden Beast. I was kind of surprised after I finished the game to go online and see that so many people didn't like Elden Beast. I thought it was a really great fight, and I certainly like the lore implications of it. So, the Elden Beast is the Greater Will's first contact with this world. It sent it down from the heavens, and where it landed, the Erd Tree sprouted. It's the center of this entire story. The whole thing from the start is the meddling of an outer god. And that realm? That realm the Elden Beast takes you to. I, there's so many other Erd Trees off in the distance. I personally interpret that as being a realm shared by all Erd Trees. I believe that there are Erd Trees growing on other planets. And that this world isn't special. The, uh, the Greater Will must have planted so many seeds on different planets. Why? I suppose only it knows, but... Nevertheless, we need to tell this god to get the hell out of here. Stop bullying me, please. Close range teleport gets ya. Ah. 
All right, making it to the last phase with six flasks and full health. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't think um, munching on crab will do much good here. I'll try it. Just in case. Torrent, help! The only reason I dodged that because was Torrent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, no, that's a bad thing. Jesus! Okay, Torrent. Torrent is not good. No, no, don't use Torrent in this fight. Where'd my health go? Where'd my flasks go? Oh. Damn it. I do like how much you can wail on it when you do get a chance to. Oh, this attack's going to be trivial. Wow! Get wrecked. There you are. How do you dodge that? I delayed that a lot, a lot. If you just need to stay away. Oh. Speaking of staying away. Uh, what's happening? Ooh, ah. Well, no heals in a prayer. Oh. Alright, Torrent's injured. Gotta keep that in mind. Stay calm. Close in the distance. Get back here, you. Damn it, I delayed the roll, too. <laughs> Making good progress on this health bar, but let's be real, I don't have a shot. A delay. Unless I can stagger it. That'd be nice to do. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead! Ow. <laughs> See you next round. Stupid space whale. I thought, I thought you were making clouds. Why was it purple then? You were making clouds. Stagger. Stagger! No. I was banking everything on that stagger, but alas, it was not to be. Oh! Alright, that's a- oh. Ow. Well, first time for everything.
There it is. I was fishing for it. You know, that damage isn't that good, frankly. Maybe I should focus on just using light attacks. Alright, what you gonna do? Ah, oh, this again. I'm feeling good about this. Maybe? Come on. Pull up. There we go. Free hits. Go, go, go. I can do this right here, right now. You're dead! God slain, Elden Remembrance. And so, here we are. The end. I must make my choice. But first, most importantly, I should use some soap. I, I want to look my best for this. <laughs> Uh, where would soap be? Here. Squeaky clean. Remembrance of the Elden Beast hewn into the Erd Tree. It was the vassal beast of the greater will and living incarnation of the concept of order. So. Wait, what is this? Such grace. I don't know if that's an ending, but I'm here to make one ending. Let me just grab my souls, my runes, and we will make our choice. I could summon Rani and begin an age of the stars, or... Touch Fractured America. Mend the Elden Ring, use Mending Rune of the Death Prince, use Mending Rune of the Fell Curse. Yeah, I completed a lot of quest lines now, didn't I? Didn't I finish Gold Mask's quest? I could have sworn I had the option there, but... Whatever. Here we go.
the fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the reviled curse that defined our age, the blessing of despair. Hooray! I made things worse for everyone forever! I'm a monster! <laughs> Bravo, FromSoft. Good show. I'm gonna skip the credits if you don't mind. Begin Journey 2? No, not yet. Not yet. We have one last uh, bit of unfinished business, don't, don't we? America's Hammer. Stone hammer made in the lands of the Newman, outside the lands between. The tool with which Queen Merica shattered the Elden Ring, and Radagon attempted to repair it. The hammer partially broke upon shattering the ring, becoming splintered with ruined fragments. Unique skill Goldbreaker. Leap up high and, while suspended in midair, imbue the rune shard with light before smashing it down hard onto the ground. The heroic Radagon signature attack. And then, Sacred Relic Sword. Sword wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal. Thoughts on what the weapon portends are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of a great sin or the sign of great devastation. Some think of it as an end of an age while others the beginning. Imbue the sword with bygone golden glory, then fired it at foes. A wide golden way fans out forward, sweeping through all enemies caught in its path. I'll admit, on my first character, I proceeded to use this to farm those Albanarics in the Mogwin Palace. It's a great farm. Huh. Of course it needs faith. This character can't use it, not without some shenanigans. Oh well. I'll take the Sacred Relic Sword, it looks cooler. Anything else to buy? No, not at all. That's it. We did it. Well then, here we are again. Another end to another journey. Yep, I pretty much spoke my heart out at the end of the expansion, so I won't be as long this time, but I will say that, yes, Elden Ring is truly a special, special game indeed. Whatever FromSoft is doing next, I'll be there, I'll be doing a blind let's play of it, and, well, long-time viewers of my channel might know that I did a Let's Play of Dark Souls 3, the Convergence mod. Well, it turns out those Convergence fellows are doing a similar mod for Elden Ring. I took a little peek at it, not personally, just some, like, footage, you know. And, yeah, it looks pretty dang cool. So, one day in the future, maybe a few years down the line, especially once the dust settles on the expansion, I would totally be down for doing a full Let's Play of this game with the Convergence mod. Though, given that, uh, this Let's Play took around, what, like, 35 videos? I'm not sure just yet. Somewhere around there, and it only included the DLC and the last few bosses, pretty much? Um, a Let's Play of the Convergence mod would be... 
Oh god, it would approach like a hundred videos, and that's... That's a bit much, especially if I was comprehensive and visited every dungeon, but... No, maybe I could do an expedited playthrough and just do the greatest hits. Uh... Well, that's for future me to worry about for now. I am proud to have finished this game. I am proud to have fought the last few bosses, melee only. I have proven my worth. That's another Let's Play complete. It's always a funny feeling. Well, for now I got Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice cooking, but plans are already in motion for what is coming next. So... Hope you're excited, because I really, really am. I'm Zephyr the Jester. This has been Elden Ring. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please, please take care.